For many children and adults, school is one of their only sources for structured learning. However, a new movement is emerging to help students of all ages learn outside of a classroom. In this video, we'll show you local classes that you can take in order to further your skills. Artisan's Asylum is a 40,000 square foot space that's a, a maker space. If you haven't heard of a maker space, it's the place where you can have access to gear that you wouldn't want to have in your apartment. Maker spaces have big equipment or have things that people can share access to. There's people who are sort of living here, working here, doing stuff here. Part of the reason for being here at Artisan's was to practice teaching and practice teaching well off the grid. I've, I've helped out with some other outreach things like that cigar box guitar project that I did with Mike Dawson and Alan Ball. Through the website, you can sign up for classes, see what's available. The classes are open to anybody. That you don't have to be a member. There's a lot of folks that over the course of six months or a year built some projects that they wandered off to and manufactured. There's a basic electronics class that Andrew Anselmo and I teach here. There's a robotics class. There's a figure drawing class. Electronics night is open to anyone. Often the classes run, say, four weeks or something. Sometimes it's one night. Sometimes it's just a Sunday afternoon. Somerville Media Center has been around since 1983. We have a huge media education program here that really allows us to offer our classes to anyone with any level of skill set. We evaluated our program a few years ago to now offer it as an on-demand training. We don't do it in like the standardized way of like one class once a week. You can come down here after school, you can take a class, you can be part of college, high school. We're really trying to be a accommodating to people's schedules and flexibilities. The goal is to really empower people to learn the skills. We also have a robust youth media program here, uh, which we teach various classes throughout the week and throughout the year. We really do just invite people to just kind of become vulnerable and learn the skills and be a part of the community, because that's really the unique aspect to Somerville Media Center. Mudflat Studios is a studio um, primarily for clay. We offer classes for kids, adults, and teens. We have 14 week-long semesters where we offer classes for adults. We have eight week-long sessions for kids, and we also rent out studio space for local artists. Somerville residents can be part of the programming here at Mudflat by signing up for one of our semesters or one of our classes. We also have one-time workshops, the community outreach programming, so if you see one of your local organizations having a mudflat class, that would be us. Clay has a lot of equipment and tools. The clay itself can be hard to come by. We can give that experience to people by taking the clay and firing it when they might not be able to. It's an experience that not a lot of people get to have. The pre-college program is a college credit program that is geared towards rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors that are specifically looking for art courses because they are interested in furthering their education. Pre-college program in film is sort of a introduction to our four-year undergraduate film program. So it's intended to give you some technical skills and some storytelling skills. They spend a lot of time sort of writing and developing a script out and then filming them in teams to make uh, make a short film at the end of the program. I oversee what you might call continuing education, but for adult learners. Sometimes I get involved with special projects and pre-college was one of them. This was the first summer that it went university-wide. We offered uh, college courses. These were credit courses from both our College of Art and Design and also our College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. The courses have expanded a little bit, so we offer a little bit more in-depth education. Uh, we had seven different courses that students could take. We had everything from animation, graphic design. If you decide to go off and study film, you've got a good foundation and kind of know what you're doing. Back when I was in high school, I, I went to a, a summer pre-college program, and it gave me the skills to kind of be prepared for what was going to happen when I graduated from high school. I remember learning a lot of theory and a lot of technical stuff, but it wasn't until I actually got a hands-on application that I really kind of gained most of the skills. It's an affordable, convenient, low-commitment way to explore interests. The opportunity to get outside of the classroom, to get outside of the structure that a lot of programs have, and just experience creativity, experience just your own vision in ways that you're not used to, I think that's good for anybody. 